Hey guys, Deanne Taylor here. It's that time of year again. It's February and that means that we're able to get early access to some of the new features and updates in Dynamics 365 and Power Platform. I'm going to be recording a series of videos on what is new and what is coming in this release. And in this video, I'll be discussing generic features and updates for Dynamics 365 sales. Now, just for the folks who are not familiar with the release cadence, Microsoft Power Platform and customer engagement apps deliver two major releases per year, which occur in April and in October. These releases offer obviously new capabilities and added functionality. Now, since these releases include features that can affect the user experience, you can opt in for early access to kind of try out and test some of these features. Now, I have to tell you, I'm very excited about what the folks at Microsoft came up with for this release. So let's go ahead and dive right in. So let's start with some of the generic enhancements in this release wave. So there's a couple of settings that have changed, like the duplicate detection experience and the merge records experience. Those were actually updated in October of 2020, and these actually needed to be enabled by an administrator. But with this release, they're going to be enabled by default. So you probably also remember the updated experience for relevant search for model-driven apps, which added that search bar at the top of the screen. Well, this is now also going to be set as a default experience if obviously relevant search is turned on in that environment. There's actually, uh, there's some additional enhancements to the global relevant search in this release as well. And again, right, you need to make sure that you have that new relevance experience enabled in order to obviously take advantage of these features. So the self, the search itself hasn't changed, but the ability to perform actions has been added. So let me kind of show you what that looks like. And I'll show you a demo a little bit later in this video. These are called quick search actions. And what you can see here that is when you're searching and you're getting that suggested result, right? You can see here, I've typed in angel, and then you can see that next to angel, I have a couple of actions available here, right? This is a contact record. So I can assign this. Uh, I think this is a share action. And this is an email link action. Uh, then depending on what it is, obviously, right, there's appointments that I can, as you can see, more complete, uh, and some additional uh, actions on here as well. So you can, again, start clicking and, and performing these actions directly from the suggested search results. But as you can see on this screenshot, you're also going to be able to use some of these quick actions uh, on the actual result page. Now, the actions that are available, like you just saw earlier, are really dependent on obviously the record type, right? That it's bringing up and it is showing. So, and then on top of that, not all of the tables have these quick actions available yet but the entities or the tables that you will see these quick actions for are the ones that you see on your screen. So currently it's accounts, contact, appointment, task, phone call, email, and then obviously, as you can see here, any custom table as well. And then you can see under the actions available, what those actions are, what you can do, right? As you can see, assign, share, and that was that little icon to email a link on the account and contact and custom tables. And then for some of those activities, we can mark complete, cancel, set regarding, assign, or email a link. Now, this list of tables uh, is going to grow. Microsoft is actually going to add uh, this functionality for other tables in the future as well. And the expectation is that administrators are going to be able to configure these actions for those tables as well. So think about maybe you don't want to have the share action available for account records, then you should be able to turn this off, right? So this configuration is not available yet, but this is expected to come out pretty soon. 
Then we also have some improvements to the Dynamics 365 mobile application. So you can see here on the screenshot, I figured let me put in a screenshot of the old quote unquote experience, right? And then the new experience as well. So you can kind of see in the screenshot that these tabs now no longer have that little ellipse, those three dots that you see over there, but you're going to have a scroll bar now so that you can very quickly kind of review all of the tabs that are on that form. So that makes it a lot easier, obviously. And then if, when you perform an action, you're going to see the command bar that comes from the bottom. So you're going to get the same uh, experience throughout the application, obviously. Also, when you are looking at a view, you're now going to be able to sort the data based on right the field that you want to sort on. And there's going to be a search bar on a mobile application as well. And as you can see here on the screenshots, you're going to be able to see this button here that says uh, plus new and then whatever that entity is or that table is, right? Uh, to very quickly just, you just have to tap on that and then you can create a new record in, this, in that subgrid. The other thing that I just wanted to very quickly uh, shout out here is that um, subgrids on the forums now actually have a header that stands out a little bit more from those quote unquote, regular sections on that form. And then the last update that I have here is the business process flows in the mobile app are going to actually show a little bit more detail now. So you're going to be able to see the name of that business process flow and obviously also how long that's been active. And you can see here uh, when you're looking at that old screenshot that we did not have that information uh, previously. Then we have uh, some quick view forms that have those multi-line fields in them. Those are going to automatically be expanded now. And previously you had to scroll down if there was a lot of data in that field, right? So you don't have to do that anymore. Those are going to be expanded by default. And there will be some major improvements to the navigation in these model-driven apps in Dynamics 365. Now, there were actually not a lot of details on this. Uh, if you actually look at the Microsoft Docs site, there is a talk about a page side pane that will allow another page to be open to the far right side or of the current page. Uh, I don't know what that means. It sounds very promising. And it's definitely, I believe, something that we haven't seen before. So as soon as uh, we get more details and as soon as this comes out, I'll obviously write another, another article about it and I'll do a video on that as well. But unfortunately, that's all the details that I have on this for now. Okay, so now let's take a look, right, uh, of some of those things that I just discussed with you. So I'm going to pull up my environments here. And what I wanted to show you here is first, uh, right, these quick actions. You can kind of see here, this is showing me my recent records and I can just go ahead and share or email a link of this record to somebody or just assign that to somebody. And you can see here, these orders are not in the list of tables that have those quick actions available. So I don't have any for those. Well, obviously, let me just go ahead and search again, right? These are my preliminary results, right? I can go ahead and perform actions. Here's an email. You can see here I can set it regarding. There's some additional actions when I click on that on here as well on this little ellipse for phone calls and appointments as well. But when I'm ready and I'm actually going to the search results page, I'm going to be able to see those actions from here as well, right? Here is again my email a link phone calls, I can mark it complete, I can cancel it, or again, I can use any of these additional quick actions we have available. Now let's take a look at the mobile application and those updates that we have there. So the first thing that is pretty clear that you can kind of immediately see on there is this search bar, right? We didn't have that before. So I can just start typing and I can just start searching this view. Then we also have, as you can see, that sort by button there. If I click on that, 
I can pick a different way to sort, right? If I wanted to sort by main phone, I can go ahead and do that um, directly from here as well. Then if I actually open up an account, let me go to datum. Of course, there's no results. Customers. And it's still sorting by main phone, so let me just do that by account name. Here's my A Datum Corporation. And we can kind of see here all the tabs that we have, right? You can see that I can just very quickly scroll through that. And then if I want to access any of those, I can just go ahead and do that, right? So maybe I want to take a look at, oops. Maybe I want to take a look at financials. Oops, let me just wait until this loads. I can just click on that and I will be able to view what is in that tab. If let's just go ahead and look here at opportunities real quick, because that has a business process flow. And you will see on the top right now, I can see the name of my business process flow and I can see how long it has been active. So there is one more thing that I wanted to mention real quick in regards to what is coming. So we're gonna have these model driven in app notifications and a preview for that is gonna be right now, April, 2021 with that going uh, GA in June of 2021. And as you can see, uh, that's the notification uh, on the screen here. It will be here on the right-hand side of the screen. So you can see here, this is a notification that an account was actually updated. Uh, and you're gonna be able to see that directly on the screen. So I'm excited about that one as well. So now let's take a look at what's new for Dynamics 365 sales. Now there's quite a lot of new features coming for Dynamics 365 sales, but there were unfortunately not a lot available for early access. So that means that I wasn't really able to take a look at them myself, but I will try to describe the features to the best of my knowledge. Now the feature that is available for early release is the enhanced personal settings in the Dynamics 365 sales hub. And you can access the settings by clicking on the area switcher on the bottom left of the page. And you're going to see a section that reads personal settings. And when you drill into that, you're going to be able to access your email templates, your email signatures, and your personal insight settings as well. And some of the other features that are scheduled to be released in April are what you see on the screen. So you're gonna have automation and adaptive sequences with sequence automation. And sequence automation is the ability to automatically send emails to prospects or customers when the next step in a sequence is to send an email. Now, I think that most of these features, by the way, are part of the sales accelerator, which is included with the sales insights add-on license. If you don't have that add-on license, unfortunately, you're not going to be able to take advantage of this. Then we're also going to have a sequence forks. And these represent the ability for the system to pick the next step in a sequence based on a trigger. And then lastly, sequence listeners will be added, which allows the system to listen to certain email engagement actions. So think about your customer or your prospect opening an email or viewing an attachment or clicking a link in that email. And then we also have the Pipeline Manager Workspace. And as I understand it, the Pipeline Manager Workspace is not a new app, but it's an actual workspace that users can access through the Sales Hub. Now, unfortunately, there's not a lot of information that I can share on this one, um, especially because, right, this is not going to be available until later this year. But I did get a nice screenshot of the workspace, as you can see on the screen here, to get you a little bit of a flavor of what that would look like. 
Some additional things here, um, we can see here the public preview for the manager dashboard and seller KPIs is going to be in June 2021. I can read for you, uh, right, what it says on the doc site, on the documentation side, which is the ability for organizations to define key, key performance indicators for sellers and allow them to see the progress in real time. So. You're going to be able to look at a number of qualified leads, of calls, of meetings, and then obviously those estimated values as well. And I don't know if you know this or not, but Microsoft is working on a new mobile app for Dynamics 365 sales. I actually did a video on that and I also wrote an article on that, which I will drop in the comment section uh, as well. So if you haven't looked at that yet, you can kind of do that. So these features that you see on the screen over here is really additional functionality, right? To that new mobile app that's been added in this release. And obviously some, some of these features will be available for public preview later this month in February. And some of them will be available in June of 2021. Again, unfortunately, I can't demo this. I can't show you guys this because again, this is not available yet, but as soon as it becomes available, uh, I'm going to do an article and a video on that as well. All right. So let's take a look at our last demonstration here. I'm going to go back to pull up my environment. And here we are. So let me just go ahead and click here on personal settings. Right, so this is what's been added, right, in this area changer, our personal settings, and now we can look at email templates, email signatures, and our inside settings as well. Thanks so much for watching this video, and if you like the content, don't forget to hit the like button. Make sure you subscribe so you'll never miss another video again. Thanks again for watching, and stay safe, everybody.